welcome back to our channel. I'm teacher Cedric, and today we are going to look at some number theory problems from the RI exam this year, the year 2023. Let us start with the first question. Given that A equals 2,023 nines with a square, what is the sum of digits of A? Hmm. This is such a huge number, so there is absolutely no way we can calculate this. So let us think how I would simplify this problem. For example, I can express this as a multiplication. And with multiplication, I know it is fairly simple if I have a multiple of 10. So how would I express this number as a multiple of 10? I could do this. I can have one following with 2,023 zeros minus one, which is the same as the left-hand side over here. Now, this should be fairly simple to calculate. To make it more obvious, let me write out the vertical algorithm. Now, I have 2,023 nines following with 2,023 zeros here, which is the product of this number and this number, minus 2,023 nines, which is just the product of this and one. Now, what is the result of this vertical algorithm? That is just 2,022,988, 2, following with a lot of zeros and a one. So this is the number eight. What is the sum of digits of eight? I have 2,022 nines here, and eight and a one, which makes up another one, another nine. So in total, I have 2,023 nines, which multiply together to get 18,000 207. Now that's the final answer to this problem. So we see that we can simplify this problem if I express this as a multiplication and I find its relation to a multiple of 10. Now moving on to the next question. I have K 2023s following with 1965 and this is the multiple of 55. Now, if this number is a multiple of 55, it means that it must be both a multiple of 5 and 11, which is the factors of 55. And what is the minimum value of k? So let's check. Is this number a multiple of 5? It is. I have a 5 at the unit digit, so I know it must be a multiple of 5. Now let's check. Is this number is a multiple of 11? Let me remind you, how would I know if a number is a multiple of 11? I simply take the sum of all the odd digits, 5, 9, 3, 0, 3, 0, and it goes on, minus the sum of all the even digits, 6, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. Now, I can, I can express this as 5 plus 9 plus 3k, because for each 2003, there's one 3, and there are k 2000 and 23s, minus the sum of even digits, which is 1 plus 6 plus 4k, because for each 2023, I get two twos, which is 4. Now, what is the result of this calculation over here? This is just 7 minus k. Therefore, if this number is a multiple of 11, this thing right here must also be a multiple of 11. Let me remind you that zero is also a multiple of 11. So the minimum value that I can put here for k is seven. So the final answer to this problem is just seven. Now let us move on to the final question. Given that a times b to the power of c times c to the power of d plus a equals 2023, such that a, b, c, and d are all distinct prime numbers, they are different. Find this value. Well, this problem seems a bit complicated because I have four unknown variables and they're all prime numbers. But at least I can see that this A is a common factor on the left-hand side. So let me factorize this A to get A times bracket B to the power of C times C to the power of D plus one. Now, before the RI exam this year, I have reminded you to memorize the prime factorization of 2023. Why is that? 
Now, this is where it will become useful because the prime factorization of 2023 is 7 times 17 squared. Now, if you compare this with this, we see that A must be either 17 or 7 because A must be a prime number. So now I have two cases for A. So let's check which one is correct. If A is 17, it means that b to the power c times c to the power d plus 1 should be 7 times another 17, which can be expressed as this. And if I do the prime factorization for this, I will get 2 times 59, which is not possible because I can't express 2 and 59 with b, c, and d over here. So now let us check the value 7. Now, if a is 7, this means this bracket over here would equal 17 squared. So I have 17 squared minus 1, which reminds us of the difference of squares formula. I can get 17 plus 1 times 17 minus 1, which is simply 16 times 18. And I can prime factorize this into 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 5. So what should be the value for b, c, and d? If we compare the left-hand side and the right-hand side, I see that b must be 3, c, both c, 2, and then d is 5. And they're all prime numbers. So I can conclude that a equals 7, b equals 3, c equals 2, and d equals 5. Therefore, the final answer to this problem is simply 72. Now, we see that this is such a complicated problem at the first sight. But then, once you factorize the A, and then compare it with the prime factorization of 2023, we immediately narrow down all the possibilities of A to just two numbers, which we can investigate both cases to see which one is correct. Now, that's it for today's lesson. Tomorrow, we're going to look at some geometry problems from the RI exam from year 2023. Now, if you find this lesson useful, please subscribe to our channel, press the like button, and I'll see you soon. I'm Teacher Cedric. Bye-bye.